Prime Minister, Her Majesty's Lord Lieutenant of Kent, Your Highness, Your Excellencies, Ambassador, Secretary of State, Ministers, Members of Parliament, Distinguished Guests. I am Richard Rigg, Project Director of London Array. Welcome to Turner Contemporary, the new art gallery designed by David Chipperfield to celebrate the completion of construction and entry into full operation of London Array, the world's largest wind farm. The concept of a very large wind farm, the largest then proposed in the middle of the Thames estuary, was presented to one of the founding companies of London Array in July 2000. I'm delighted that the person who presented that concept, Peter Crone, is here to see what he started. 13 years, many twists and turns later, we have the completed wind farm we proudly present to you today. We'll now short, show you a short video kindly provided by Mazda. London Array, the world's largest offshore wind farm, is an incredible achievement for the renewable energy sector. The London Array partners have demonstrated a real commitment to renewable energy. A partnership of companies from around the globe has worked together to tackle the energy trilemma head on. Together we're addressing the impact of climate change and securing our energy supply for future generations at the lowest possible cost to consumers. It's an exceptional feat of engineering. 175 turbines, all taller than the London Eye, built over 20 kilometres from the Kent and Essex coasts in the Outer Thames estuary. Two offshore substations weighing 1,250 tonnes each. Linked to the shore by over 200 kilometres of subsea cabling to a brand new state-of-the-art onshore substation. It's taken a dedicated and inspirational team working in the harshest of environments with an astounding level of technical innovation to deliver one of the most complex offshore wind farm projects in the world. London Array, powering our future. When you leave today, you'll be given a coffee table book which records what working on or supplying this project has meant for members of the London Array project team, its contractors and suppliers, whether international companies supplying and installing major components or smaller Kentish companies providing day-to-day -day support to the construction team in Ramsgate. Without them, it would not have been possible to successfully install three 50 kilometer export cables, 179 array cables, 90 foundations, and 175 turbines, each taller than the London Eye, in less than a year. An amazing achievement by any measure. I would like to thank all of them for their contribution to the success of the project. And as the poster says in our construction office, making London Array the team that everyone would wish to be part of. Thank you. I would like to thank particularly the executives of Dong, of Aeon and of Mazda for placing their trust 
in us. Now, a lot of people talk about fighting climate change, but it takes some very special people to actually do the fighting, to produce and ship equipment across the sea, to brave the harsh wind and weather and to install 175 wind turbines and to manage a huge project like the London Array. If you look at this great wind farm today with its towering turbines, we get an impression of the hard work that has been done by hundreds at the peak time, a thousand dedicated people in very rough conditions. At every stage, the focus has been on collaboration and on teamwork, the vital components of any major energy project. But even more important is making sure that none of us loses sight on the end, the retail customer for whom we produce the energy. It is for their benefit that we have built London Array. Our overall goal is that homes and businesses across the United Kingdom should benefit from low carbon electricity produced by London Array. Offshore has left the kindergarten. Offshore is growing up and we are proud to be part of it. We thank everybody that was working here that has delivered and thank you for also making every of our workers coming home safely to their families. The inauguration of the London Array is a major milestone for Dong Energy. It takes us as a company to over one gigawatt of wind capacity built in the UK. We couldn't have achieved this without all our partners and to them many, many thanks. Huge congratulations must go to everyone for ensuring that this highly complex project has been completed with a great safety record. It remains a key area of focus for Dong Energy as we take on the operations and maintenance of the wind farm going forward. We're delighted to have been part of this development and we look forward to working on other projects in the UK. As the world's largest offshore wind farm, the London Array is a true testament to the economic opportunity of large-scale renewable energy projects, the investments they attract and the industries they reinforce. The UK government's bold commitment to renewable energy their strong policy and robust frameworks provided the foundation necessary and the stability required to form such a successful partnership. Mazdar will remain dedicated to moving the industry forward, to further diversifying the global energy mix, and to continue positioning the UAE as a true and responsible energy player. Thank you. Prime Minister, would you like to make some closing remarks? Thank you very much. Well, it's a huge privilege to be in here, here in Margate today to welcome the opening of this extraordinary scheme. And uh, can I congratulate, first of all, everyone who's been involved. It is a great day for Kent. It's a great day for Britain. Having, you've heard from the industrialists, you've heard from the investors, you've seen the video. So what can the, what can the Prime Minister add? But of course, when I chaired the G8, I had to arrange everything, starting with the dress code. Uh, there was some criticism. Why wasn't I wearing a tie? Um, what people didn't realize is, of course, President Putin wanted to do the whole thing uh, bare-chested on horseback. And uh, I, of course, had to negotiate him down to smart casual. Um, we haven't had that problem today. But I think today is very simple. It is a triple win. First of all, it is a huge win for Kent. Uh, this project has been built by some of the bravest seamen, some of the most talented engineers, some of the hardest workers, and it's going to continue to bring great benefits to people in Kent for many, many years to come. And we should congratulate everyone who's been involved in the construction and operation to, to date. The second thing that it's a big win for is for renewable energy, for clean energy. Sometimes people wonder, can you really have renewable energy projects at scale? What the London Array shows, powering half a million homes, the biggest offshore wind farm anywhere in the world, it absolutely shows you can do scale renewables and you can do them right here in Britain. And that leads me to the third, and I think the most important win of all, and it is a very big win for Britain. Sometimes people wonder, can we in the West, can we do big projects anymore? Can we do the big investments? Isn't that all happening 
somewhere else in the east uh, and the south of our world. And I think if you look at the United Kingdom right now, you can see we can do big projects. Not only did we do a superb Olympics last year, but underneath London, Crossrail is the biggest construction project anywhere in Europe. Not far away from here is Dubai Ports World London Gateway, which is the biggest port construction taking place anywhere in uh, Europe. And here you have uh, the biggest offshore wind farm anywhere in the world. I think this demonstrates Britain is a great place to uh, invest. It's absolutely right, Peter. There have been uh, great contributions from European countries and European people all over uh, this project. Um, but I, uh, I don't want to make a, uh, don't want to have too much Schadenfreude. But it is actually a fact that last year foreign direct investment into Europe as a whole went down by something like 40 percent. But in the UK, it went up by 24 percent. We are making this country incredibly attractive to invest in, and that's part of what this project is about. When it comes to green energy. I think we have one of the clearest, most predictable uh, investment climates, and we're going to add to that by completing uh, the energy bill uh, this year. So we will have a fantastic market for investors to come and build in. So a great win for Kent, a great win for renewable energy, and a great win for Britain. And it only remains for me to once again congratulate everyone involved in a fantastic world first for Kent, for renewable energy, and for our country. Thank you very much indeed.